word. Welcome to the B-Side Word. I'm only sat here with three fellow Aussies. Two. Two. Oh, I'm one of them. My name's Emma and I'm here with... I'm with Devon. You're with I, Are Devin? you with Devon? No, I am Devon. And... Are you sure? <laughs> I'm starting to question that. Who else do we have? I am here with CJ. Hey, CJ. <laughs> <laughs> Maxi is... Is he, is he on the skiing. snow? Is he skiing this mm. weekend? Mm. And Alexander is very sick. So they are away. Sick of us. He's sick of us. So hopefully they're back next week. But it's just us three today. The three amigos. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, and ooh. we're and it's so hot in this room, isn't it? We're dying. You want me to leave? <laughs> Didn't be right too. You like it? You like it? Because <laughs> it's hot in here. Because so, of me. Guys, yeah. the first yeah. article. No, no. This week <laughs> is about. I don't know if you had saw this or not. Um, this 21 year old tradie yeah. was, he was working in Northwest Sydney. So it must have been not too far from us. Northwest. It's just there. Yeah. Northwest as in around our area. Yeah. yeah not yeah. Northwest. I'm Southwest. You're Northwest. Yeah. Now, tradie Jordan doesn't, so, doesn't want to. Southside. <laughs> Southside. <laughs> doesn't want to reveal his surname. I'm from the dirty South. <laughs> he was bitten. Yeah. By a redback spider. Yeah. Five months ago when he was on the portable <laughs> toilet. Toilet. Just, just, just for curiosity, did, did, is he able to like, you know, get webs now and um, like Spider-Man? Oh, as well. well. His, his offsprings will. It's spider trady. Oh, man. <laughs> um, so he went in there, you know, checked whatever. I guess he sits, like sits down. Yeah. We, 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 we pooped the same way as you guys. <laughs> on the yeah, but I didn't like my first thing wasn't thinking. Oh, he's gone in to do a number two, but okay. Oh, he's not doing a number one on the floor, like on the sitting floor? down. On the, sitting down, is he? Yeah, if he's using the portaloo, he sat down. Okay, have you ever been in the portaloo? Mm, yes. They're not very smelly. They're they don't smell very nice. Now a tradie would pee on a tree uh, and do a number two on a portaloo. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay, so he goes in the portaloo, <laughs> sits down. And gets bitten in the schnangus. On the schnangus. On the schnager. Oh, on the schnangus. Uh, on the sausage. <laughs> By a redback spider. Did it blow up into a larger, larger than normal size? And like everyone was so concerned, he went to hospital, right? Did someone try to suck it out? His missus. No. You or can't. his boss. Suck, suck you the poison out. You don't do that. Gary. <laughs> Gary, you got to suck the poison out. <laughs> and then he got bitten again. <laughs> he must have. What do you mean? In the hospital? So this happened five months ago, and yeah. then just recently, the same thing happened. Oh, he got man. bitten okay. on his. Um, okay, I reckon. The, I reckon he's lying. Language. I reckon he's lying, and he's trying to go. No, I got poison. Someone suck it out. Literally, his his <laughs> tradie mates had to. The first time that everyone oh, was like, mate. everyone was like concerned, but this time they were kind of laughing because they were like, "What? <laughs> what the hell?" But this time he How said, "If it was the same redback." Like the oh. redback, you came back. You came back again. You didn't like the, the you didn't warning. like the warning the first time. But he, because he goes after the first time, he's like like a bit you know weary of portable toilets, right? Not so, enough. But this this <laughs> more, this particular morning on the second occasion, he had two coffees had, and he had, a, had a paper in his hand. He's like, ah, oh, to hell with uh, it. I gotta go. <laughs> well, he goes that they had just cleaned it, yeah, so he's like, say. right, this is my chance. So he goes in, he lifts the lid, nothing there. Lifts the seat, nothing there. Sits down. Gets bitten and it was under the rim because <laughs> he looked down and I, then saw the no, <laughs> no, no, CJ, no. <laughs> I don't know all these. No, um, CJ. <laughs> he looks down and sees the legs, yeah, like going back under the rim. <laughs> no. <laughs> Anyways, I would I would have went after him. I would have been in pain, but I'm going after you. I go, enough's enough, mate. You're, You're not, not putting your stuff. fingers up the rim. <laughs> <laughs> Only for a good time. <laughs> Guys, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, dear. <laughs> so is this guy all right now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, except the fact that he's been bitten twice. Yeah, except for the spider out of the rim. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, I was thinking, you know, who else has been... Um, <laughs> 
bitten more than once or whatever, and I came across this article. Who, who likes to be bitten more than once? No, I didn't <laughs> say who likes to be. I said who has been. Oh, yeah. There was another article. Yeah. And it was this six-year-old boy, again in Australia. Yeah. Um, Joel Canning from Wongan Hills, which is about <laughs> 180 kilometers north of <laughs> Perth. Yeah. CJ, right? Poor six-year-old. He was playing outside. Yeah. Gets bitten by a Western Brown. Right, one of like very poisonous snake. Um, he goes inside calmly and says, "Mom, um, if you get bitten by a venomous snake in Australia, do you go to heaven?" <gasps> right. Anyway, then his eyes go in the back of his head, starts oh. convulsing, like starts like hissing, like he couldn't breathe. Gets taken to hospital, sorted out. Comes back. Oh man. Eight days later. Same street, bit him mm. by another Western Brown. Survives. They so reckon he survived immunity. because he still had the anti venom in his yeah, plus, yeah, I think system. Look, yeah, probably right now. Because he probably get bitten as much as he wants. No. Because he still had like the anti venom from the first bite He's snake still. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> and also they were close to a hospital. But that's one of the world's most poisonous snakes. But fun fact, not as venomous as the Eastern Brown. Australia. Ooh. Oh. Ooh, I never knew that. And they're very aggressive. Ooh. Why was the brown? Well, <laughs> get this. So I take the boys up to um, basketball earlier today, right? It's in a sports center, but it's next to this beautiful playground. Kids love it. The boys are like, oh, snake sign? Literally at the gate of the playground is beware snakes. Yeah. The kids playground. Yeah. Yeah. They don't discriminate. Snakes don't discriminate. Yeah. They're not ageist. No. They'll bite anybody. Yeah. That messes with them. And you know the playgrounds, because all the equipment are, are, tra- are like trap the heat in mm. and snakes love heat. Do that's they? where they... Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cold-blooded. Yeah, so... Like we could have a snake in this room right now because it's not holding it. I know. <laughs> have, you, uh, have you been doing the time? <laughs> We're free, we're free balling it today. Free balling? Free balling. Anyway. So is the kid all right? The kid's all right. He's fine. He's he survived fine. twice. He's a yeah. six-year-old. Would have probably usually died. Mate, that kid is going to be picking up home when he's older. He's like, hey, I got bitten by two snakes. Now he's a bit anxious. They <laughs> 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 don't call me snake boy for nothing. Oh, oh, man. No, the poor kid has anxiety I'm, I'm now. I'm pretty surprised that it took you that long to come up with a snake. No, no, I had it ages ago. Yeah. <laughs> but I was just waiting for a good time. <laughs> and I was thinking, should I, should I, should I, should I? Anyway, oh, the hell of it. Let's just do it. Um, yeah, well, that's interesting. That's interesting. What's, uh, have you... Do, do, do you know what? When he's older, he might be able to use his snake to get the spider out of the guy's room. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ha, had you <laughs> have you been bitten or stung? By, I've, been, I've been bitten before, man. Have you? But, but she asked first. <laughs> you did. <laughs> I knew this is. Awesome. <laughs> so have you been bitten or stung? Yes. By any? Yeah. So my, yeah. my 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 mine is nothing compared. It's not a brown snake or a red back spider, right? But do you know the fire ants? <laughs> yeah. Remember the fire ants? Yeah, they hurt. They yeah. hurt, right? <laughs> right. But I was doing like um. I think I was 12 and we were, cli- we were like hiking and I didn't want to hike, right? So I'm just like dawdling up. A 12-year-old, you're like 12 years old, you're just like, nah, man, I want to do my own. Anyways, I got forced to go on the hike and because of me being lazy and just not wanting to be there, I put my hand on this rock like, and I was just like, you know, like, oh, I don't want to go any far. I'm going back there, right? As soon as I put my hand on this rock, instant pain. Four fire, I don't know if they were fire ants, but four of these um, ants with these massive nippers on them, bang, got me. Four of them. I think it was four of them or three of them. Anyways, I, I just it's, cried. It's, it's funny. The, the story's changed from four to three. <laughs> it's probably, it, was probably, it was probably a baby fire ant. And it, was probably, it wasn't even fire ant. It probably was a stick that was a sharp <laughs> ant. And he put his hand on it. And he's like, ah, hey, it did this to me. But I, I realized I'm not great with pain. Yeah. No one's great with pain. No, some people are got a high pain uh, threshold. threshold. Yeah, like really high. Like what do you consider to be really high? Well, my grandma. More than me. <laughs> she was just walking, and a nail went directly through her flip flop, through her foot, and she's like, "Oh, I stood on a nail. That's a high pain threshold." 
That's a high pain pressure. Yeah, but the pain wouldn't have set in until the adrenaline wears down. Nah, she's a G. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing but a gangster <laughs> grandma. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Matter of fact face. Nah, man. She's, she's a G. G. <laughs> she old school. <laughs> La da 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 da. <laughs> it's the one and only G R A N D. <laughs> but you know the story about the ant? Mm. Our eldest, he had that exact same thing when he was doing the tree tro- tree tops climbing thingy majiggy. Yeah. And Must he put his genetic. hand on the tree. <laughs> and those ants, no lie, were probably this big. Pincers were massive. Pincers. And poor thing. Oh, they're not nippers, they're pincers. Pincers. Nippers are children, little children, man. Are they? Don't they, they call them like little nippers? The little swimmers? Swimmers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's the ocean people. <laughs> Surf lifesavers. I don't know. I don't know. Surf lifesavers. We've lost them. <laughs> the little nipples. <laughs> the nickels. <laughs> no, she said nipples. Did you say nipples? She called them the little nipples. I know what she was looking at that a swimming thing. The little nipples. At the little nipples. <laughs> You're sick. You're sick. I meant nippers. You're so sick. <laughs> That's sick. You're sickening. Your grandmother's got a high pain threshold and, and, and you're just a little sicko. <laughs> Guys, you're making me cry. I actually don't know whether we've spoken about this before in the past, but um, this guy was, this is actually your article, Dev. Huh? This, this is your article. So what is it about? A lady was driving. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> she gets pulled over mm. and fined $337 Australian. Yeah. Because her passenger was on FaceTime. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Was she looking at the FaceTime? She was just driving. No, no, no. Like the passenger was looking at the FaceTime. But the passage is not driving. Yeah, but so, so. So, anyways, I agree with you. That's why I put the article in. I was like, "What the hell's going on here?" It's time to find people for everything. Yeah. Man. Yes. People, I uh, figure, f- just to build up money. Yes. Revenue. So raising. Yeah. I, I actually saw that. I saw something about this like a few weeks back, and I brought it up to you, Deb, didn't I? Because I said I often would call my parents on Facetime whilst driving, like. But it wouldn't, I'm not holding the phone, but it'd be like there, like in the, oh, you there, know. That's, yeah. I did not know that was an offense, right? Mm. And then I'm like, wait, the passenger's not allowed as well? Emma, Emma you just drive snitched on yourself. I know, but I stopped. I stopped. <laughs> and then. <laughs> I stopped. I stopped. Right? But then what if you're driving? I FaceTimed my parents whilst you're driving. Not allowed to do that now, right? Because they say anything in the car that is visual could distract the driver. Therefore, you're not allowed. Okay, I've done a lot more things distracting while driving than FaceTime. Yeah. Well, you know, eating, like what? eating's not allowed either. Eating? Yeah, you can't eat. Dev, <laughs> Dev told me you can't drink. This guy got fined in WA for drinking out of a water bottle. Drinking water. It was over you 40 can't. degree day and he got fined. Hold on. So they'd rather him dehydrate, mm-hmm. go off the road, smash into a tree. What was he drinking while he was driving, or was he pulled over and drinking? Like, no, was he at he the was lights? Driving. I don't know. I don't know if it was at the lights or what. But he was driving, and he had water. I understand that because, like, all right, if you got if you got the bottle right and you're driving, unless you got a straw, you've got a you got to tilt your head back to drink, right? No, you don't. You can just tilt the bottle. Yeah. Why don't you leave your head straight and tilt the bottle higher? No, because then I haven't got... Goes down your chin. Yeah. Well, I, well, I'd rather have spilt water on my chin yeah. than smashing into the car in front of me. So, I know. So obviously so you guy, disagree. Well, no, the guy... I just think people are just too sensitive. The, that's not, this nothing to do with sens- sensitivity. Oh, it's not safe. Mate, we used to eat Big Macs while driving and we <laughs> made it home. Yeah. No, I, I, I don't know what's it. with these people that can't seem to drink a bottle of water. No, I don't think it's the people. It's a, it's, it's a law now. The law is a bullshit. No. So the police thingy did say, I think basically something along the lines of it was a bit silly to fine him for that. Like we Maybe tell our, we tell our force just to use discretion because another one, which I literally just found out about a few days ago, all these road rules, you can't 
apparently it's illegal to pay using your phone in a drive through which I have been doing heaps, Apple Pay, whatever. It can't phone. be illegal because they said they said if you're in the drive through you can it use your phone. I know. That's what I thought. No, and it's it, they said it in no, the law. No, because you're on private That's property. That's what I thought, right? But there was an article two days ago that um, literally the police force confirmed, yes, you're not allowed to pay, reach out of the window and pay with your phone. It said... Because... You have to be parked and pulled over, blah, blah, blah. So but you put, I thought the same thing. You put your you, car in park, you pay. When they say parked, you have to turn, turn off, the off the engine. Turn off the engine in a drive through. Yeah. Do you use your card to pay pass anyway? No. I mean, you don't use that. But I'm, I would still, put, it's a private property. Yeah. But what's the difference of using okay, your phone? If I'm parked or in my driveway, cash. right? Have my engine running in yeah. my driveway, which yeah. is private property, yeah. and I'm on my phone talking to someone, what's, what's their business? Is that how it is? The police. Do you know what NWA are right when they said fuck the police? <laughs> NWA. I thought you said NWA. Um, I don't know. That was an article in it. I should have. I should have saved it. But but that's you know what? Like if there's if there's laws, that's fine. I get that. So they're just, bring just bringing them in to make make money. But they're bringing it up and no one knows. Yeah, yeah so, no one like, knows. No one knows it's about it. Raising, as you said. So but like again, when that guy comes along and then you go, I didn't know. And they go, well, you should know. Okay, when? Okay. When, when am I checking the laws for all no, these kind of bullshit? It's your responsibility, not the law. I understand, but now we're going very technical into because these laws aren't the ones that are. These are obscure laws, because it's if you what is it written? Um, if uh for the fine of the, it's not like don't use your phone. That's a law, right? Like you you know that don't use your phone, but then you go into grey area scenarios. Yeah. You know what and I mean? again, like they said, the police thing said, we again, we, we tell our force to use discretion. So I think they're basically saying, I don't think that anyone would, you know, issue a fine. But you do get those certain people if there's maybe KPIs at stake and they need to add a few more fines or whatever. We call them wankers. <laughs> do we? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know, man. Mobile yeah. phone payments ban at takeaway drive through Spark. Okay. Now, I've seen police at Macca's pay with their phone. Does that mean I can go out my vehicle, excuse me, you're not meant to be paying with your phone? <laughs> I'm going to no, issue a citizen's arrest. I'm issuing a citizen's arrest? See, you can't... I Please give know. me a handcuffs and badge. Look, bitch. I, I don't <laughs> like... I don't like to... And it's hard for me, like... Because the job that they have is a hard job. It's a hard job. But, it's a hard job. But to be honest with you, they're making it hard on themselves. You could, in Victoria, yeah. you can get fined 484 and lose four demerit points for using your phone at a drive through to pay. Can you just use your phone in the drive through Not to pay. Just use your phone in the drive through am, 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 am I allowed to break into my vehicle? <laughs> <laughs> and then someone commented, okay, so um, because that's not as dangerous as being passed drinks and food through the window from the <laughs> washer. Do you know what I mean? You reach out of your car to collect the goods. Yeah. <laughs> it's being hypocritical. They're just yeah, but like you, see, you, know, you said it's private property. Yeah. Can you make laws on people's property? On people's property? Yeah. Uh, about people's property? No, like uh, let's say this example, right? I can't run nude in the street, right? But if I'm in my backyard and it's closed off, fenced, yeah. and I'm naked, it's my house, my my, my backyard. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, I get it. If I'm on my oh. driver on the phone talking, let's say to you, yeah, I'm just having a chat, and I've got the aircon on, yeah, and the car's on because of it, yeah. How was that breaking the law? Am I driving? And I'm in my driveway. That'd be weird, eh? If you're like in your driveway, the engine's on and you're just playing with your phone and you get a tap on the window. Yeah. So please step out of your vehicle. I'll be like, um, please step off, off my property. Do you have a warrant to be here? Oh, straight to the warrant. Ooh. You've watched too much movies. Ooh. Where's your warrant? <laughs> Where's your warrant? Here, sir. Oh, ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to go to next. <laughs> I'm going to run around naked in my backyard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, 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 because um, I'm running around naked in my backyard. <laughs> <laughs> See, mobiles and drive through What's that in New South Wales? Um, many people believed that a drive through is private property and so therefore, despite it being a road or road related, one could not be booked whilst on that. But New South Wales driver, 
of a vehicle must not use a mobile phone while a vehicle is moving or stationary. I swear when they released that the mobile um, uh, cameras... I heard are that gonna, too. When the mobile cameras came out to spot the... It said that you can use it in um, drive throughs Okay, those mobile cameras. Do you reckon they released because of the mobile cameras or they released them to what we're doing? Oh, watch what we're doing. But they got to give a reason, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, to be honest with you, I don't think they're even worried about us being on the phone. No? I reckon they just want to see what we're doing. Our driving habits. Yeah. If we're speeding... If you're driving erratically, it just gave them a reason to put more cameras up. Have you seen him around? Yeah. And that's a one minute warning. Mm, and in New South Wales, it's $344 fine and five demerit point loss. Bloody hell. I get it. I get why the law's there. No, no, I understand why the law's there because you get some idiot on his phone messaging and driving. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But if you're not moving forward or back, but now they're over. They're overusing it. Yeah. They go to the extremes, right? Yeah. There's no like... Because literally, if you if you see what that comment said before, what is the difference in going beep and then like accepting your goods, like, accepting your food and whatever I was, through I was the say, window? Maybe check another law. Men aren't allowed to drive on thongs, aren't we? Nah. Well, no one's allowed to drive well, on thongs. Women can drive in... What? High heels I, no. or sandals. Yeah, sandals. What do you mean you can't drive you in can't flip-flops? Drive in th- you can't drive in flip-flops. It's a law. I did not know this yeah. law. Nobody told Emma this law. That's what I'm saying. But you're supposed to know. Yeah. But when CJ said you're supposed to know the law. Yeah. And it's like there's so many laws. Ignorance is not defense. There are so many laws. Yeah. That you, you, you can't use ignorance as a defense in court. I claim ignorance. You can't use it. I just said. I claim it. Anyway, I claim the fifth. I don't think we're not in America. There's no fifth. <laughs> as much as um, as much as the laws come in, there are still people there out there, and I'm like messaging because they're so like it's people because people always try to flirt around the law right yeah so they don't so they haven't got their phone up against their ear anymore it's down below the steering wheel right and the the worst one was i was in a truck and like i saw this guy on on (laughs) on like on the freeway going like 90 90 kilometers hour and he's texting (gasps) yeah those people should be booked you know what i mean and you're like that's because he doesn't want to be caught. So people try to find a way around laws instead of just... See, I, I got Bluetooth in my car, so I'm not too, really too sure. I'll just use my Bluetooth to call people. To message. He to was call, messaging. To call people. But you can even use Siri. Text. This is what I'm saying, Siri. Like, it's like it blew my mind. And I'm like... That's I'm, crazy. I'm like, all right, whatever. But anyways. Like, I do understand why they put the phone law rule in. Because people were just doing some stupid stuff, but yeah. now they've gone overboard. Yeah, mm. yeah, hundred percent. And now it's become more revenue raising than anything else. Yeah, it's converted into that. Yeah, like I understand them. So it started, it started off for something that majority of people would get, would get behind. Yeah, but now it's the point where more majority of people are looking. Y- that you know way. why? Because you're not just attacking. You know, I mean, you're not targeting just the people that are doing effed up stuff. You're targeting the normal day people yeah. that wouldn't do the the. The, the texting that would cause a major accident. Yeah. Like, it's literally your stationary in the drive through Like, yeah, you know and, what and I mean? If like, you could get out, use your hands to grab your food and your drink, then you shouldn't have an issue in your mobile to pay. That's right. Especially as you're not allowed to eat and drink whilst driving. But but to end it, just, just to come back to the... If... Do you, th- do you think you should be fined for someone else... You, like no. you have no control over that person. No. Who? What? No, you shouldn't be fine. Oh, you're talking about you the You have passenger. no control over your passenger. Like if CJ decided to watch um, a YouTube clip next to me, I have no control of him doing that. Like when I, if, even if I say to CJ, stop, he's going to go, <laughs> yeah, all right, no worries. And he's going to watch the YouTube clip anyway. Like there's nothing. No, I was, I, I'm not that bad. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> I, w- I would not show you the YouTube. I clip. wonder if your back backseat passengers are okay because you can't see the screen in it. Okay, anywhere. we've put all our money putting these um, v- some screens in the backs of the seats, right? So kids can watch their shows. Oh, yeah, true. That's so right. So that could be distracting. True, true. So w- w- we're not going to have children in the cars anymore because they could no be distracting. No radio. But loud music's distracting. No, but okay, what's more distracting? A child fighting yeah, his uh, sibling in the back seat when a parent has to literally turn and say, stop doing that? Or paying using your phone and drive through. 
No, I, I'm in total agreement with you. Mm. I'm in total agreement. I with think you. they're just taking these laws overboard. Mm. I think people in the government need to be kicked in the balls. Kicked in the balls? <laughs> yeah. Kicked. Kicked. In the balls? In the balls. Ball kicker. In ball kicker. <laughs> and if, if, if they're female, floppy tubes. <laughs> Tied. I'm I, I, I'm I'm equal. <laughs> you can't tie a woman's fallopian tubes from outside of her body. <laughs> I'm not talking about that. We're gonna surgery. Because after the kick, they're gonna need some surgery. They need some surgery. <laughs> um, guys, we have another kiss cam blunder. I don't know whether we've had any, so I don't know why I say another. No, but we had the um the bridge face, bridge resting face. Oh yes, That's the guy, why. the guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have another one. Um, pull up the video, Dev. It's only Let's about see. See twenty seconds. No, this is not the one. Oh yeah, this is the one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> so. This guy is caught on camera at a football game kissing his missus. And then after that, uh, and he's got a big smile on his face, doesn't he, guys? You can attest to that. Yes. Then. Attractive young lady. Another attractive yeah. young lady. Yeah. yeah I'll, 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 I'll give her a kiss in the public place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then kiss finishes. He's pulling his arm uh, like back because his arm was around her. So he's taken his arm back and he spots the camera. Oh, or no. he spots himself on the kiss cam. Yeah. And his whole demeanor and face changes. He just goes so awkward. Actually, I don't know if the girl went like this to his leg, like, because she realized, because she does this, but I don't know whether that's because she's like, wait, wait, hun, hun, hun. And then he realizes and he's just like super awkward, gets on his phone and he's just like looking around, like, am I still on? Am I still on? <laughs> this video went viral. It was yeah, even it on morning shows across okay, the world. All the radio stations. The, the problem is the way he handled that. Yeah. So then he put out a statement, didn't he? Yeah, what did he say? He was just basically saying, um, he was basically saying, yes, I've done wrong. I wish I can get my wife back. But all of you that are commenting on, my, on me cheating, um, you've probably cheated as well. Yeah, <laughs> that was, was his defense. Yeah. So his defense was for everyone else under, under, under the bus. bus. Find the biggest bus you can and shove as many people as you can. <laughs> Does this? Did the girl know she, he was married? Probably. Well, look at her because I think she taps his leg. Like oh, you want to go back? You yeah. want to go back? No, keep going. It probably plays plays over and over again. Right. Look at her face. She she looks awkward too. Mm. She looks super awkward. All right, here we go. Happy, 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 happy. Then she taps his leg like... Nah, she didn't tap the leg. Nah, you she, she rubbed realized. it. She rubbed nah. it. Yeah, she rubbed his I leg. I thought she, she rubbed, rubbed, his, rubbed leg. his leg. I like, thought yeah, she look, did. Look, look, look. Watch, she, she watch, she watch. She rubbed watch. his leg. Watch. Ah, see? Yeah, no, see? no, no, no. She rubbed it. Yeah, but look she at She wasn't him. tapping. No, she was but look at her it. face when she does it. It's like, oh. No, 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 no. Do you know why she's like, oh? You know like, how people oh? go? Because she's rubbed his leg and he's pulled the back. Back. So she's feeling rejected. Yes. Yeah. Oh. That was my initial reaction, and then I was like going all investigator M. No. And you, you've gone too far. Oh, man. So, what do we think? Well, I think if you're ever going to cheat on your wife, maybe don't take, don't her, take her to a football play. Football. I wonder if he told his wife, I'm going to go to the game later. And she's watching to see if she can see him, and then she sees this. Could you imagine? It's horrible. I know. But again, why would you act like you've done something wrong? This is all you can make people look at it Because <laughs> he's probably thinking my wife's watching. Well, it's done now. You, you, it did, um, <laughs> it brought up that Google thing, eh? We talked yeah. about that Google. Yeah. People give themselves away. With the... With the way they act. Yeah. Like, if I was married in, in that situation, it was like the kiss cam came on. Yeah. She was near me. She looked at me. She goes, okay. I gave her a kiss on the side of her mouth. Yeah. And my... It might have looked like from the position of the camera <laughs> that I was kissing her mouth, but I wasn't. It was a it was a peck on the cheek. And you were just hugging her at the same time. Yeah, I figured it make it look like a tender moment for the crowd. <laughs> you know, they played this on the radio station, right? Mm -hmm. And um, they said, "Ring up if you have any of these stories, cheating stories or whatever." Right? So 
this lady rings up and she's happy, overly happy, overly happy. And she's but she's been, she's been dating me, hasn't she? But she, why? She, I reckon she was like still hurting because they ended up in the force, right? So this um, this lady found out her man was cheating because her daughter came up to her and said, "Mummy, I'm getting all these weird messages from iCloud, iMessage." So it was coming up on the iPad, right? And so the, the, the wife had all this evidence accumulating, right? And then one day she decided to say, to go up to him and read, start reading the messages. So he, well, he was, out of the blue? Yeah, out of the blue. When she had enough, right? She, she's like, um, the guy's sitting on the couch and all of a sudden she starts reading the messages like... Um, Oh, hey, baby. Yeah, I can't wait to be with you. I know the time is not... Like, this is from the girl. I know the time is not right. But if anything happens between you and your wife, I'll be here waiting for you and all this kind of stuff. This is what the message is he would like the receiving. And, um, and man, you're dead in the water. There's no... no oh, that, yeah, not coming back. You're not coming back. Like, what, what is your... So, what is your exit from there? What, what are you doing from there? Who? As the cheating man? As the cheating man. I'm talking to CJ, yeah. Why are you singling me No, because I have. I know what I'm going to do. So I'm just thinking about what you're going to do. What am I going to do? Yeah. Leave the house. Yeah, but... Because like, nothing I say is going to make it any better. Yeah. Right. Get out. <laughs> yeah, all right. But I like that. I, I'm playing music on the way out. You're playing? What? What are you playing? <laughs> I'm putting on my phone. So I'll be looking at my phone. I'm pressing it. I'm looking at my playlist and I'm just... I'm hitting... I'm hearing in the f- what, what song am I playing? Okay. We're, we're. <laughs> okay. You know, why are you angry at her? I'm not angry. I'm just playing the music. This is my theme song when I leave. When I'm like, I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, a meme you know, me. Akon's like locked up. Yeah. I'm going, I fucked up. <laughs> Don't let me. <laughs> and I'm just walking oh, out, man. man. Dude, that's like, the, that's like the one of the lamest. Oh, come on. <laughs> I was trying to off the, off the no, cuff. Okay. I, I sure asked. I would have played, uh, is it Emon? Yeah, yeah. Aim on, aim on. Oh, yeah. You don't mean shit now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, the fuck. Yeah. Oh, that was a good song. <laughs> that was a good song. <laughs> good old aim on. If I'm going to do it that way, I'm doing like, I'm going all, I'm, I'm going all in. Yeah. Yeah. To what? Like to just say, fuck what I said, you know, I'm out. Peace. <laughs> and you out? I'm out. <laughs> yeah. That's effed up. Yeah, but like, let's be perfectly honest with you. If I was going to cheat, I probably wouldn't get caught. All right, CJ, this is your article. Okay. Which I've one? labeled it Professor Scandal. <laughs> oh, CJ's laughing. <laughs> no, no, I'm not going to lie. I read the heading of this, started laughing, sent it to M, right? And then M sent me this weird like emoji face, like <gasps> in shock. And yeah. I'm like, wasn't this an article, funny article? He goes, uh, he's like, isn't this, is this funny? And I'm like, no. So I hadn't read it yet. Yeah. But the heading was funny. So? The heading is something I would do. What's the heading? I don't know what the I'm heading is. a professor. Oh, the heading is. Spends all his grant money at a strip joint. <laughs> Which basically is the story. So 57 year old professor. Professor His name lap is dance. <laughs> Chika Odinaka Nwankpa. Oh wow. Chika, I'm paying for a lot of girls to go to college. Right? <laughs> From I don't I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. From Drexel University in Pennsylvania. Yeah. Okay. He was um, an engineering um, professor, previously yeah. served as chairman of the engineering department. He was so on pretty a chair high a lot. up there. Pretty <laughs> high up there. He is charged for stealing. 185,000 <laughs> US dollars. That's a lot of lap dancers. <laughs> from government <laughs> grant money, right? Be- from between 2017 and two- 2007 so and 2017. Ste- is that embezzlement or stealing? Is that the same? No, hold on, your grant he money. Isn't grant steal. money for he him to design it. something or engineering wise? Yes, so the government would give him. He was funding. designing him a tower. <laughs> that extends. So this happened over 10 years. Yeah. So they give you grants so you can do whatever your research or whatever it is that you need the money for, the funding <laughs> he for. He was researching strippers. And 
he <laughs> basically the district attorney's office said that 48% of his cuz this is work this is when you charge your you know company yeah, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You, you, you hand your receipts or whatever 48% of more than 100 receipts were issued on weekends and 63% of those were issued between midnight and 2 a.m. He's research. And he was claiming that they're all legitimate. Yeah. Yeah, but hang on a sec. Is there someone writing off on this? Yeah. Is someone, someone saying yes? Someone had to have been. Okay, then now, could he be just going there to eat? Wings? Yeah. Like, this is you, you, wings. Can't, you can't charge the company 185000 Hey, it's a lot of wings. <laughs> yeah, but that's his company credit card on weekends where he's not like, he's just like, okay, he's not... Yeah. But if he has like a, maybe he was getting inspiration from the strip joint. Of engineering. Yeah, engineering. <laughs> hey. Yeah, you don't know. You don't know. He could be the muse. They yeah. could be the muse. He might be like Ooh. thinking, oh, I, I, I need to design this, this building, right? Oh, Twin Towers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sand dunes. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Apple. <laughs> well, he basically spent the, the, the areas he was going to were adult entertainment venues, sports bars, food, and iTunes. So, okay, iTunes. So, so, so iTunes snitched on him? Maybe. And this money, so this was allocated by the university, uh, to the university by the Navy um, Department of Energy and National Science Foundation. That, that's what it was. He was researching floaties. <laughs> so anyway, he was charged... He has been released on bail, $25,000 bail, um, surrendered his passport, and he's waiting for his hearing, and he's resigned, obviously. Okay. okay. The, the bail was paid for? Oh, and he's only going to pay back. He's only agreed to pay back 53000 by the way, even though he stole 180 odd. Maybe some of them are legit. He's doing research on inflatable items for the Navy. I don't see nothing wrong with this. So if you're a professor... I don't know where to go with this article, actually. like, um, You don't care? It's like... like It's so hard to get away with stuff nowadays. Yeah, but like it's so funny that he did it for so long. Like, oh, so you wish he got away with it? Not yeah, that I, I wish that he got away with it. I'm not gonna lie I wish he got away with it. Yeah, but he's... Li- he, like, wait, wait. His students... Walking out of uni with massive high debts, right? The students he's supposed to be teaching. Meanwhile, he's living the life of Larry. Is he though? Not on his money. He's paying himself like hundreds, well, thousands and thousands of dollars. His grant money, is it part of his wage? No, it's like a funding. It's a funding for him to do research, correct? His department. His department department of research. He could have been just been his muse. Well, they didn't specify that. So if it was, he should have said that in court. Or he should Emma, say Emma that. Emma is very upset that we're not upset, CJ. <laughs> I'm not, obviously, this, I'm not actually too fussed about this, but it, it's, it's wrong still. And you plus, can't you can't be like, oh, let him get away with it. Some of those young ladies are doing that job to pay their uni debt off, right? Or college debt. So he's just helping so he, them. So he's, he's a circle of life, you know? It's, it's, he's putting into the economy. Hakuna Matata. If it was on his own money, fair, fair play. Yeah. Like when he walks into that shoe joint, they should be playing that circle of life song. You know? <laughs> but you're <laughs> right. The Who is signing off on To these? the students, to the students, to the uni. I don't know. Wait. So like the 185,000, the grant, he could have probably. No, no. That's how much he stole from the grant. So so he could have possibly used that to um, get an intern. Does interns get paid or like no, a, no, no. an assistant? No. Like an assistant. So you, this money could possibly give someone a job. No. But you it get a grant be, no, and then you get assistance that you pay for. It would be for legitimate things that are going to okay. help the Department of Engineering. Just for curiosity, where was this gentleman living? I don't know, but he's from Pennsylvania. Was he like living in the vicinity of the strip joint? Because maybe he's, um, what's the, um, when you don't sleep at night? Insomnia. insomnia. Maybe he's insomniac. And like he just needed to go somewhere and just chill so he can get his finger. Yeah, I think on. Emma's saying that's fine. You can, but don't use the grant money. But like he's still working technically, because he, he could be in there 
you know, thinking. I about, love this narrative that you're trying to build. <laughs> uh, I'm he's like, got a whole story. Selling, you're not selling me on it, but I love that you're attempting. Uh, uh, mate, this guy should have hired me as his lawyer. <laughs> I would have defended him till I went down. I would have went down with him. Because <laughs> I think I, I don't have a problem with what he did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the only reason why I can't, uh, there's nothing. Let um, me ask you if yeah. this was like a lawyer mm. running for office, mm. no, a politician running for office. Mm hmm. I'd vote for him. <laughs> well, if this was a police officer, what what um what occupation is this wrong in? None. It's private life. What if it was a doctor and that funding was for helping Sick research children. research new yeah, yeah okay, the crime treatments? Is, the crime is embezzling, correct? That's the crime. No, he didn't embezzle. He stole. He didn't stole. It's his grant. No, but this. No, it's not his. It's by the department. Yeah, but he's the head of the department. Yeah, but I don't, I don't think even he, know why you're arguing this. I don't this think him. he was handing out. It's obviously, wait, wait. It's obviously CJ hand- just being devil's advocate. No, he I don't actually think he's knows it's bad. Out money but to he doesn't his care. Other colleagues and going, oh, I'm doing it. You do it too. <laughs> no, 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 but okay, this guy. I will, get you. I get you. Like, uh, how long was he doing it for? Ten, ten years. years. So it took him ten years to work it out. That's what I mean. There got to be some checks. Like as much as this guy should be in trouble, all the people in the back room should be in trouble as well. Like, uh, well, like they probably I, I noticed something was wrong. I would have flagged it when they said, um, uh, "Honk if you're horny." Um, strip club came up as the like tax <laughs> invoice. You know what I mean? I don't fully blame this um, yeah, professor. I actually don't blame him as much as I blame the accountant. Like, no, but you know he what was it probably is? spinning the, this is yeah, legit my muse stuff Yeah, but well, hang on a, a sec. No, no, no. Like if he if he put it in, actually this is where I'm going to go. If he put it in, <laughs> right, put it in. <laughs> he put in the claim. Yeah. He's like, here's the claim. Like, like, here's the money. Here's the receipt. Here's the receipt. Yeah. Are you going to accept it? And I, someone said yes for 10 years. For you know, 10 whole years. They said yes. So do you know what happened? The person that was accepting it was re- retired, and then from Gary it was Jane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see what you're in there. And Jane's looked New up staff. like honk if you're on his chip joint. Hang on, I used to work there. <laughs> I know you, Mister. What's his name again? <laughs> you have, now, if she worked there, she'd be thankful that he helped her for university. That's right. Oh, then she would have. She wouldn't have reported him. She wouldn't have reported him. Maybe he wasn't tipping high enough to oh, but it to Jane. Like, but it sounds like we used to be quite well. <laughs> <laughs> but I imagine on the receipt it says, says tips as well. But that all right. So how do I put this? Like, like it's in life. It's so hard to get ahead, and <laughs> and Not like in that place. But like what I'm <laughs> saying. This is the guy. What I'm saying is like if you if you. If you put it in, right? If you put it in, uh, CJ, every single time, I, I don't even know how to word this without you <laughs> laughing. If, 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 you, if, if, you, if you get away with something. Yeah, you keep doing it. You keep doing it. Yeah. One of the places is called Club Risque. <laughs> oh, jeez. Like, that honestly. That's a big giveaway. That's like ding, 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 And ding. included visits to the cheerleaders, Club Risque, Taconi Club. Look, if I was a guy signing off on these receipts, yeah. like the first one. The first one I, I got. put on the first one. But the first one I would have been like, you know what? I'll let it pass. Yeah. But, but don't do word, it again. I have a word of him. Yeah. Like, I go, don't do it again. Okay, Gary, come here. Yeah. I'll, I'll let this one slide. Oh, yeah. What if it was you, your employee? You do it again? But this one, CJ would be like, you know what? We all get lonely sometimes. Yeah. You know, <laughs> these things happen. Uh, you're going through a divorce? I get it. Hey, you had a good time, yeah. but don't do it again. Yeah. You do it again, we're going to have different words. Yeah. We're going to be at the bar having different words. Yeah, we're going to Club Risque, more, and I'm going to have a word. Imagine with you. The, the the grant the grant uh, writer offerer was like, oh, so so we're going to have a meeting about what you've used our grant on, and they come and they're like, so tell us what of all the what's all the new stuff that you've been doing? What kind of meeting is money? this? What is this? Yeah, what is sh- this meeting? I was going to say, shows him his boner. No, <laughs> what is this? We're going to show you this grant meeting. <laughs> They'll be like, oh, what was his, what's his, what's no, his man, name? You're not going to, you're not going to be able to say it. What's his first name? Who? I can't. What's his name? Uh, his uh, first name is Chicken Wanka. <laughs> Chicken Mwanka. <laughs> <laughs> Even his name sounds suspicious. <laughs> oh, Chika Odinaka. And that's the other thing, that's a good point. His name or comes Chikao up. Danaka. His name comes up. It's it's not as if it's like it's there. It's a long name. Yeah. It's like like when your your receipts okay. come in, 
It's like, oh, Chica is coming in. It's not like, oh, I missed his name. And then you, the receipt comes. Come okay. on, bro. If, nah, if, if I was the forward. university head of the university, I'm walking to the accounting team. I'm going to use an off it. Because how could this guy get away for 10 years going to strip joints? Yeah, that's right. Oh, like, they'll be pulled up on the stand. They'll be... That's <laughs> like, all right, this is at a smaller scale. But if you had a vending machine that constantly gave free drinks, would you... Oh, yeah. Pop would, in that machine. But would you, um, but would you like, tell the person that's no. got the vending machine and go, oh, you, that... Um, that that no. road is broken. You no. wouldn't. No. no, I take the drinks and yeah. Run. So you're running. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching this week's episode of the B Side Word. Make sure if you enjoyed it to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe and drop us your thoughts in the comments down below. Hit the bell. 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 Hit the bell.